The film by this year's Madison 48-hour film project hits the big screen for the public to see tomorrow night at the AMC Theater, former Sundance at Hilldale. Yep. Teams write, shoot, edit, and finish a four to seven minute film in 48 hours. They do it in one weekend. Michael Keeney and Katherine Thompson are the co-producers of the 48-hour film project. Nice Welcome. to see both of you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, Kathy, tell us how this works. So, a team will come in. On Friday, they pick out a genre basically out of a hat. They don't know what they're going to get before they start. Then we tell them a character name, a line of dialogue, and a prop they have to use in the film. What are some of the genres that they um, can choose from? Action, invention, um, strong women, uh, name a couple other ones. There's comedy, there's horror, there's martial arts. Fish out there's of water. silent film. Um, so really, the whole breadth of anything you've seen at the, on, the, on the big screen. Okay. So they sit down and write, write this thing first, or they just start shooting and hope it turns out? Hopefully they're writing it for <laughs> <laughs> But they get to gather in people's apartments or wherever. Wherever yep. they can, yeah, certainly. Um, we've competed in the past, and we have tend to write on Friday, film on Saturday, and edit Saturday night into Sunday. Wow. And it really is. For most teams, it's 48 hours straight. And these are people that probably know each other and have worked together before. Sometimes, but a lot of times you'll find out, I mean, when you're, you're kind of in the heat of battle, so to speak, you find out this is somebody I really want to work with, and you'll find teams tend to, to kind of work together more and more. Um, in our own crew, we have we've picked out many of our regular people through working with them on this project. How do you have the equipment to do this for the shooting and editing, especially? Really anymore? Most people can pull the thing out of their back pocket. Really? Just do it on their shoot laptop? On your, shoot yep. on your phone and yep. edit on your we laptop? We have one team that shot on their iPhone. You're kidding me. It, the, really? The, the, that's the power of technology. It's amazing. Drones themselves have gotten so much cheaper that... that Get aerials? Yep. <laughs> I Most, know that a couple of films yes. have drone shots this year. Is, are you surprised at the quality of the finished product? Always. I'm always surprised. I got to see a couple of them last night because I'm... Looking One at the producers how setting it up, yeah, <laughs> I so I get a little sneak preview. Some of the editing by our one of our team teams was just fantastic. We have a horror film that is, I think, truly scary. Wow. We have, I think, some clips here. Is this this yes. year or years past? These, these this are is years, years past. past. We didn't want to give anything away right. for this year. <laughs> and, and I'll say that yes and no. I'm not surprised by the quality because I've worked in this industry for about 15 years and there really are very talented filmmakers here. You guys have done it. So yes. what is it like to try to get this done in 48 hours? I mean, is daunting. it daunting? Really? It is truly daunting and yet exciting and everybody leaves thinking, I want to do this again. Really? So you don't sleep? No, not really. Usually not. Going on At adrenaline least and coffee? Not the and... director and the producer and yep. probably the editor doesn't sleep either. Yep. Do you have creative conflicts? And I mean, how oh, do you yes. work all that out in, um, in such a short amount of time? We've tried to kind of delegate job duties because it kind of becomes too many cooks in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, but it is, I guarantee at some point in the 48 hours, virtually every team member has said, I am never doing this again. <laughs> and, and, you, and you forget. Yes, and then you get to that, you'll get to tomorrow night. Otherwise there'd be just single children in every family in the world. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yes. You'll get to tomorrow night and you'll see your, big, you'll see your name oh, on the big screen. That That's is amazing. so cool. How many films in total are produced? Um, we have 17 this year. Uh, there are, as, as um, Susan said, 142 or 145 cities around the world that are producing films throughout the year during different weekends. And then those will go to a national film of Palooza, and about a dozen of those will actually go to the Cannes Film Festival in France. Wow. Are there so, local awards, Kathy, for the films? There are local awards. There is an award for the best film. There's an award for best direction, best acting, best makeup, um, best use of genre or best use of line or prop. And tomorrow night, we can tomorrow all see night, them. Tomorrow night, they yes. they're all unveiled. So and there, there tickets... are still tickets available. You can get them on brown paper tickets, or you can get them at the theater. Oh, I'd love to see yeah. that. The creativity that people have. To be creative on demand is really challenging. It really so is. It'd be amazing to see that. And we do have a movie mixer that'll go throughout the evening at whatever it is. AMC. AMC, AMC yes. Dining in 6.0, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but that way, so people who want to come out and meet the filmmakers, you can come out and you can talk to them, and you can ask them these questions, and you can find out some of how it you can see how the sausage is made. Do you only do this once a year, or do you do it more than once a year? We do it once a year. Um, there are other cities, though. Milwaukee does it. Uh, Minnesota does it. So you could, as a filmmaker, do three or four of them. It's a lot of fun. Congratulations on another 48-hour film fest. We're looking forward to seeing them yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah, we really are. Thanks for being with us great. today. Thank great you. to Thank see you. you both. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Bob has one final check of the forecast coming up.